Hey guys, I'm Sarah Shriver with Fab TV. I am here with Tim Heidecker and Greg Turgenton from Decker Unclassified here at Adult Swim. How are you guys feeling today? Great. Yeah? We're here to talk about Decker Unclassified. Tell me how this, like what was your aha moment, we need to do this project? Uh, we had access to an, uh, a revenue stream because my uh, son, uh, you know, I don't want to get into the details, but passed okay. away and provided me with a life insurance policy that gave me access to the funds to make this show. Great. And how did Greg get involved? I was the one He's that told him to get the insurance on the kid because he had a quack doctor who was an anti-vaccination doctor oh. and I and the kid was so sickly and I didn't think that he was going to make it and I said to Tim you need to protect yourself here and get this life insurance and that's yeah. how I got involved and you guys met each other how? Well, I've been other seasons yeah. of Decker. this is actually the fourth season yeah so we you know this has been a very popular show who do you want to talk time. to me or him I'm doing both okay because he's sort of Hijacking the interview, in my opinion. Okay, me, I apologize. Don't hijack. Um, how is working with Adult Swim? Um, it's not ideal. And why? Did Has there been uh, challenges? Because we, this show is a network quality show. It should be on Fox, like 24 was. It should be on um, the movie It should be at 8 o'clock. It should be on, I don't, I can't stay up late. I'm out, I'm, I can't be out watching the show at midnight. So I'm. You're early to bed? Well, I'm actually out right now doing clubs. A lot of clubs. Uh, um, with the car. And uh, we're playing clubs basically all in um, San, Luis, uh, uh, San Luis Obispo this weekend. <laughs> Wonderful. Can our fans get tickets to it to see it? Um, it's a free, it's a bringer. So um, I'm required to bring six people to the show. And that's oh, part great. of the, yeah. Okay, so what, six people watching San Luis Obispo Come this weekend. With Dakar, we got Axia, Manuel, Nick, and... Uh, uh, the bass player, can't remember his name. Oh, it's, it'll come to you in the middle of the interview, I'm yeah. sure. Just let us know later. Really nice guy, an awesome bass player. He, uh, pr pr well, uh, he's sort of my backup bass guy because I play bass most of the time, but he's pretty good at sort of backing me up when need be. Okay, great. You got, you're pretty musical as well. Um, do you mind if I ask no, him a question? I'm interested in movies, not right, in music. Okay. Um, I do have quite a bit of expertise in movies, and if you have any questions if you want to try to stump me for oh. your viewers that's something that's a lot of fun and people uh, think it's a good segment. oh you should try it but you can't okay stumps um what is the little mermaid called the fork in little mermaid well that's a, that's not really a movie that's a cartoon <laughs> it was a terrible question i wish i could have done better than that anywho let's get back to your project let me talk about um Special effects and stunts. Did you have a stunt double? Did you do all your stunts? I did all my stunts. Uh, it's sort of one of the great things about being able to have access to talent the way I do, where I'm able to know lines and know emotions and, and be able to also be, use physicality to tell stories. So the, the, the stunts that I do, and it's sort of in the tradition of my hero, Tom Cruise, who's able mm -hmm. to jump off of tall buildings mm -hmm. and uh, get into really actual fights that you're like, who, this guy must have gotten hurt doing it, you know. Did you get hurt? I didn't get hurt because I trained for this, and I'm in such great physical condition that I'm able to transcend injuries. Okay. And how long was the training for it? Uh, I trained for six weeks. Did you work with one of Tom Cruise greats, or who did you work with? Uh, I self-trained. Yeah. I used uh, information I found on the Internet mm -hmm. and used a local gym. Uh, called Metro Fitness. It's a good one. Yeah. Any specific diet you went with? Um, I used a red meat diet, basically right. accessing um, supermarket style meat. Right. Fantastic. And yourself, did, how did you prepare for your character? Well, my character is sort of the master of codes. So I talked to some consultants, people I know who are movie buffs, who've seen a lot of movies, who know what these code breaking characters are like and right. sort of how they. Uh, perform under pressure and we discussed a lot of these movies and watched some of them too. Will you tell me those movies? So then I won't talk about cartoons uh, anymore? Talk He's not going to talk about Decker or not some of these other movies because right. that's what we're here to promote. Right. But there's a, there's a lot of good movies. Uh, Daryl, D-A-R-Y-L is one that I really Dabney uh, Coleman. recommend mm -hmm. uh, if you're interested in code breaking. But right. I think Decker, uh, whether it's the first, second, third, 
or this fourth Decker movie, that's really the place to go if you want to see a master code breaker at work. What was the most exciting scene to film? Was there one? Can you choose one? Probably when uh, Special Agent Kington saves the plane from crashing by cracking save the, the plane code from... to the cockpit door. Okay. Well, Is that a spoiler? Uh, it's not because it's not the it, it's the least okay. interesting thing when he with his involvement with it. What okay. happens later is the spoiler, which is Decker actually saving the day. Of course, there's like a fight between you guys about who saves what. Evidently, well, you know it's a team. And okay. That's, okay, that's what makes the series work. Yeah. Did you really change the name of the series to Decker and Kington because it's really about the team? Did they think about it? What did producer say? Um, producer tell? me says no because the show is Decker and it's. There's a, there's a bunch of smaller characters. What does a producer do? Um, they, a lot of them put money into a show. And right. In fact, uh, season two, Decker Hawaii, he used one of my credit cards to finance the whole season. Oh, so wow. I would say that would be considered an executive producer if you're gonna, if you claim to know anything about movies. Um, that would be an executive producer. <laughs> I did not it even realize. You had a book for the film Buff's like, Checklist. Uh, Tylenol or something like that. Or, do you, oh, Club? Last night? Yeah, and other things, trust me. I do trust um, you. You know, I trust you both. I have, uh, I, I was basically, we played till 1 a.m. last night. Oh, wow. And then we partied hardy uh, in basically West Hollywood area. I won't tell you where. Did except Greg get invited? No. Why not? Uh, because it's a different go. crowd. Oh, it's a different crowd. Not. And uh, I ended up sleeping in my car. Because I got about two hours of sleep. Anyways, who cares? Comfy so car? Uh, no. No, I just got a, um, a Miata. Oh. Yeah, so they're tight. Yeah, it's no, tight, but tight sleeping convertible? Yep. Did you keep the not top this, down? This convertible, stars, is this stars not a, this not a Mazda convertible. Oh, okay, sorry. It's not a Miata convertible. Mm -hmm. It was. There's a, the, uh, the thing collapsed or rusted out. In the meantime, so, I thing had great trouble to secure two tickets to a movie premiere last night. You did. One of them was for Tim, and he just blew it off, so. Did you go? I'm not going to see that I Alice in Wonderland movie. No. Right, you're about action. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, I'm, I'm interested in I'm not movies. into fantasy right now. So are you guys gonna work again fantasy. together? I mean, I, I, Wait, I, Alice in Wonderland is not a fantasy? What is it? I mean, there's mm. fantastical elements to it, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> okay, then say it's a fantasy. I don't know what else would we call. What else would you call Alice in Wonderland? Drama. Fantasy. I think it it is. It's very dramatic. Fantasy. It has <laughs> fantasy elements. What did you like about it? I like Johnny Depp. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Yeah, favorite Johnny Depp movie. Better. I want to uh, wish Johnny the best. I know he's going through some stuff right now with yeah. his wife just left him. I want right. to let Johnny know that we met once at the Rainbow Room a couple months ago, and we said you said you'd come by the Oscar special. And he didn't come by, but I still love you and I respect your work. I'm a big Hollywood Vampires fan. Love for Dakar to open up for you guys. Johnny, you're welcome to hang. Now that you're a single man, I'm still technically married, but I end up playing uh, on the weekends and there's All a lot right. of love. So, anyhow, Johnny, you and me, we should roll together. I'm always down the West Side. I'm talking about Be Rainbow. Cool to get him into I'm talking about Go Go. Yeah. That would be cool. Um, and John's a big hero of mine, still is to this day. And every choice he makes, inspires me more and more to be who I am today. And can you guys just give one like shout out to our fans out there to tell them to tune in and watch this series on Adult Swim? Fab TV, it's Tim Heidecker, star of Dakar, uh, star, of De star of Decker, um, unclassified, only on Adult Swim. It's, uh, I'm proud of the show, I'm proud of you, and proud of this environment. Fab TV, you've got the resources. You should turn it into fab movies because mm. that would be cool is to see some fab movies. There aren't enough of them in the world today.